Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to map through an array using JavaScript. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the script tag. But before I start with it, I would like to talk about my HTML code here. So I have this uh, basic H3, all right, and you can see it here. And on line 17, I have a uh, in a placeholder, this one is also an H3. So you see it says ID my H3. So I just named it my H3 because I'll be able to simply, you know, put the result inside of this H3. All right. So at the very end, before the body tag, you can basically add the script tag. And once you add the script tag, uh, you'll be able to simply select that specific a3 and you know change the uh you know inner html to whatever you want so i'm going to start with uh you know with the the word let so you can use var or let it's up to you but i'm going to stick with let now so let i'm going to call it my h3 all right equals two and then i'm going to say document dot get element by id then I'm going to open two parentheses and two quotations, and I'm going to add the name of this element, which is my H3. So I have the ID of my H3. I'm going to place it between the quotes. So just save it. Nothing will happen. Now, if I want to change, you know, what is inside of this element, I can basically type in my H3. All right. So I'm going to use that name of the variable. I'm going to say dot inner HTML equals two. And I can say, for example, one, two, three. And basically whatever I add here will be printed on the browser. It will, it will be rendered. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array. So right before i mean right before i change the inner html here i can say for example uh let numbers so i'm going to start with some numbers so equals two and then you open two square brackets and you add numbers basically i'm going to add one two three four five six see i have six numbers let me add a semicolon to the end of it and let's put those numbers on the screen so to do that i can basically add my numbers here instead of this string so i'm going to add my numbers here so basically our code is plain now so we have the a3 all right so it says let my a3 equals to document the element get element by id and we are selecting that specific um empty a3 here and on the line on line 21 we are creating an, an array of numbers and uh, on line 22 basically we are changing the inner html to those numbers so now let's say that we want to multiply those numbers by two so we, we can reuse these values all right so you can reuse these numbers so i'm going to go to the next line and on line 22, I'm going to say, for example, let. So I'm going to start with let and I'm going to say new numbers because these will be new numbers. So let new numbers, and then you add equals to. All right. So this line is the map method. All right. So on line 22, now we are using the map method. So we, we say let new numbers equals to and then we want to use the original numbers on line 21 so you see we have that i mean we have those values saved inside of the numbers variable so i can say numbers all right so numbers dot then map so you add dot map and you add two parentheses and I'm going to add a semicolon here. So you see now, it's, so you see it disappears. So our numbers are disappeared on the browser. 
this is because um, we are you know our code is incomplete now so that's why you don't see anything on the browser so there are a couple of things so you can you know you can start with an unnamed function so i'm going to add the word i'm going to add the word function and two parentheses and two curly braces and as you do that you'll notice that it, your numbers will be back so uh, you know now we are using you know, an empty function and nothing's going on so there is no error now that's why we are seeing the original numbers so now what i'm gonna do is let's see what i'm gonna do here so uh, you know there is a parameter that you'll have to run so inside of these parentheses you can type an element so i'm gonna type an element all right so this means that use those original numbers all right and put it inside of the element parameter so now we have that there um you know inside of line 23 i can say return so always almost always you will return something so the map method will return something to us so we want to return you know our new values as, as like paragraphs so I'm going to use the back ticks, all right, two back ticks. And this means, just like, this means, uh, you know, add whatever you want to do. So I'm going to add regular HTML here. So I'm going to add a paragraph. So I'm going to add a paragraph, all right. So an empty paragraph here. Now, nothing will go on here. But if I just say element here, so if, even if I say element, it will not render it because you know we are using regular html now so if you want to you know use uh, javascript now i can use the dollar sign and two curly braces so this means that we are back to html so i mean back to uh, javascript sorry not html so now i'm going to use the name of that parameter and i'm going to place it inside of the return here so i'm going to place it inside of the curly braces and as i do that you know it will not do anything so we are using that and right now we don't see any changes because we are still setting the inner html to the original array so you see right now our original array is here or line 21 and it says numbers and we have one two three all the way to number six so instead of you know rendering the you know line 21 which is our original array we can change it to new numbers basically so you see it says oh, on line 22 we are using another variable it's called new numbers and we are mapping through the original array so i'm going to say new numbers here so new numbers so new numbers so now you see it's the same thing but this one is returning paragraphs so we have our you know we have our uh, values in a paragraph so we have each element in a paragraph now so each value in a paragraph so what i'm gonna do now is you know i want the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna display this like next to each other not uh, you know I want to display this horizontally, not vertically. So to do that, I can add a class name to this paragraph. So class equals to dictation, just like a regular HTML class. And I'm going to say, for example, my para, right? So my para. And inside of the style, I can say dot my para. And I'm gonna open two clear braces, and let's say let's say display display to inline. So as I do that, you'll notice that it will basically show it just like we used to have in the before. So now, let's say that we want to, you know, multiply these element, uh, you know, these values by two. So I can say, for example, times two. So times two. So basically. What's going on here is, you know, it's, you know, multiplying 
each of the original values by another, you know, uh, by two. So you see it says one times two is two and two times two is four and so on. You see it multiplies everything and you can, you know, you can, you know, have another operation. So I can make it a divided by two or you can divide it by anything. So if you want to divide it, you just add a forward slash here inside of, you know, these curly braces. So you see it's dividing the original numbers by two. And uh, I think, uh, you know, this is it for these operations. So I'll be able to add maybe a plus here. You see, I'm adding two to all of them. And, uh, you know, you will be able to work with uh, not only um, numbers, but you'll be able to work with strings and, uh, you know, uh, like booleans, so for example, true or false. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example of that too. Um, so I'm going to keep this one here for a moment. And uh, I'm going to let you just take a look at it. And then we will continue. So right now I'm going to show you how to work with strings instead of numbers. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to basically keep these here so i'm gonna keep the first two lines and i'm gonna just remove this uh you know i'm gonna comment it out so you see we have nothing to be rendered and i'm gonna change i'm gonna comment out this uh, array too so we'll have a new string array so let me move this one here so this is what what we have now so basically we have the let my h3 document get element by id we are selecting that empty h3 and uh you know this line basically changes the inner html of that one to new numbers but now we, we don't have anything called new numbers so i'm just gonna change it to something else so i'm gonna you know keep it empty for now okay so now we are going to create an, an empty array so we are going to say let names let names equals two then you open two curly, um, two square brackets and then you add strings basically so so i'm going to add three or four strings and i'm going to add the name of the state so i'm going to start with ca az all right so ny and texas so we have some we have, we have a string with some states and you know inside of this inner html i'm gonna just put that inside of that h3 so you see i have this states and let's say that we want to uh, you know make them like small letters not capitalized so to do that we will have to again create a new variable so i'm going to say let new states all right so new states equals to then we are going to use the names of states so i'm going to say names then dot map all right and then two parentheses so again inside of the empty parentheses we will have to add like a function so i'm going to say function just like that and then it will be an unnamed function so you just open two parentheses and two curly braces so now i'm going to say element all right so elements okay so i have the elements here again i can name it anything i want but i'm gonna and i always uh, put elements here just to you so you'll, you'll, so you'll see it you know it will make more sense to you so now it will return some things like we said before with the numbers so return all right so it will return then we'll add the back ticks to go back to html so we'll be able to add html here i'm going to add paragraphs again okay and let's say that we want to add 
javascript here so I'm, i can say elements here basically elements so you see the elements are back here so i'm just reusing the original now because you know there is nothing going on here inside of our javascript but let's say that we want to uh, show them as small uh, letter yeah small letters instead of the capitalized letters so i can say dot basically because this is javascript i'll be able to use uh, you know anything i want so i'm going to say dot and let's say to lower all right so to lower case and you open two parentheses so now if i save it you see it's not small letters why is this you might be asking hey why is not well because you see we are setting the inner html to names not the new states so you see we have a new variable here it's called new states so if i change it to new states and now you see it doesn't work because this one has to be below it so now you see i'm trying to set the inner html to this variable and it doesn't know where it is so if i place this one below it if i just cut that line so i'm going to cut line 24 and i'm going to place it on line 28 and as you notice our states are rendered as small letters so this is how you basically use you know um the map method in javascript and also there is one more thing but i'm i think i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep that one for the next video um but now you see we are just mapping and we are you know generating uh, new strings or new numbers so it's up to you what you want to do with your code and what numbers you want to generate and so on uh, so in the next video i'm gonna teach you how to use the index with you know uh, yeah there is more to this because you know um but i think i have made this video uh relatively longer than the other videos that i have made before so i think i'm gonna pause here and uh i'll share the code with you all on github so thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next videos so this is it and enjoy coding everyone